the soul is coming upon the line. Yep. Let my enemy scatter and rise, my God. Let the enemy of this nation scatter and rise, let the scatter in the night. Thank you. Mighty God, we thank you. Miracle worker, we thank you. Excellent God, we thank you. Mighty God, our Lord, we thank you. My King, we thank you. Precious Jesus, we thank you. Thank you because you are mighty, you are powerful, you are awesome. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this night. Thank you, Lord, for this moment. Thank you, Lord, for this hour. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're about to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for visiting us, my Father, my God. Thank you for your encounter. Thank you for your revelation. Thank you for this month, my God. This is a month of revelation, my Father, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the source that you're delivering in, the, in your kingdom. You are bringing back to your kingdom in the name of Jesus. We say thank you, my Father. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you, Lord, for the life that you are transforming by this word. We thank you, my Father, my God. Receive all the praise, receive all the honor and all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, we do pray, trusting and believe. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, somebody just lift your hand and wait for Jesus. Wherever you are, just wait for Jesus. We thank God for you. We thank God for this night. We thank God for this moment. This is a very powerful moment. This is a very powerful month, child of God. If you want to hear the mysteries of God, if you want to do God to, to reveal to you things, child of God, do not miss this service. This month, do not miss any service. Is it the morning glory, the spear of prayer, or even Friday? Do not miss at all because God is teaching us things that we, that we have never had before. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Tonight we are talking about the ascending to the realm of God. Ascending to the realm of God. It means we are talking about the ascending to the authority. Ascending to the spiritual height. Praise the living God. There are levels in life, child of God. There are levels in life, child of God that you can, when you operate in, you will be limited, child of God. There are levels that when you operate in, you will be limited. Praise the living God. Some of us are very talented, but there are limited some of us have got gifting but they are limited yes because some of us are time has limited you you are doing too much you are doing too much have you ever seen that those who are doing very little those who are doing too much are the people that are out earning little because they are being limited praise the living god on the areas of their expertise praise the living god you are doing too much and your results is very little minimal praise the living god hallelujah what you are doing right now you are working hard child of god but the result is very minimal there is nothing that you're giving the result is there is nothing that you give you are earning very little praise the living god so there are men there are men that went with their men that are the men that before you fight the child of God, you must think twice. There are men that before you engage battle, you begin engage battle or you start fighting them, you need to think twice because they have journey, because they they they, 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 they are area of, of, of dominance. Praise the living God. There are people that have dominated big areas, there are people that are dominating uh, uh territories, there are people that are dominating cities, there are people that are dominating uh, nations, praise the living God. So before you fight them, you must also think twice. Where are you? What can you do? Which capacity do you have you attained? Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So there, 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 there is a, there, that is why you need what you call the spiritual height. That is why you need to ascend to another realm. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, what is the meaning of ascend? This the ascend. To ascend means to go up above. To go up above. To ascend means to go up above. To ascend means to climb higher. Praise the living God. To ascend means to mount up. The Bible say in the book of uh, uh, Isaiah 40, verse number 31, it said that uh, those who wait upon the Lord, they shall he shall renew their strength and they shall soar higher. They shall mount higher with wings like eagles. Praise the living God. So that is a spiritual ascension. To ascend means to conquer, to have uh, authority over something. That is to ascend. Praise the living God. To ascend means uh, uh, to rise or move up. Move out through the air, praise the living God, to rise higher. So when, when you always pray that I rise, you are ascending, praise the living God. You are ascending. So those who use 
flight. Those who use flight as the mode of transportation and cannot be compared to the people that are using the, the, the road as the mode of transportation. No matter the good condition that car is, no matter the speed the car can move. I don't know which car that moves with the higher speed right now, but no matter how speed they can move or the condition, you cannot compare with the one that is what? Traveling, that is using the, the flight. Praise the living God. The one that is using the flight will go, will use shorter time. It will take shorter time compared to this one because when you start ascending, when you go to ascending, when you start ascending or go higher, you are you are above things. You are above forest. You are above, you are dominating above forest. You are dominating above uh, mountains. You are dominating about uh, seas. You are dominating about rivers, valleys. You are dominating about the, the traffic jams, praise the living God. So you are moving above. So the battles you are fighting is very minimal. But when you are moving down here, it is too crowded. There is too much congestion that will hold you, child of God. Praise the living God. And that is why you need to pray and say, Lord, I need the spiritual ascension. I need the spiritual height. I need to move to another realm that I begin to operate in a, in a particular realm. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Child of God, child of God, right now you will need to move to another level. When the Lord lift you, may you begin to rise. May you begin to conquer. May you receive authority to move higher. May you receive wing to, wings to, to mount high like eagles in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, child of God. So when we rise above, when we rise above, we have authority over so many things. We have authority over, over so many things. I told you that we have authority over forest. When you go higher, you know when the, the airplane begin to move on the runway, it takes off, it's starting moving, it goes above the forest, it goes above the everything will be below the, 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 the aeroplane. So the aeroplane will move faster, praise the living God. Hallelujah, praise the living God. Hallelujah. So child of God, you, 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 what you need right now, what you need is the spiritual accession. What you need is the spiritual accession, praise the living God. That is why, you see, other people, whatever they do, they, some people will do very little and they have achieved much. Some people do very little and achieve much, but others will do much and achieve very little, praise the living God. That one means that uh, the spiritual height, it determines spiritual height, give you an advantage over other people, praise the living God. It gives you an advantage over others, praise the living God. So when you gain the spiritual height, when you gain the spiritual height, you'll find that what other people take time to do, but with you, it will just be a walk on the path, praise the living God. So our Lord Jesus Christ, had a spiritual height. Our Lord Jesus Christ had a spiritual height. Whatever the disciples could take time to do, him when he come, things begin to change. Praise the living God. So it means he had ascended to another realm that even demon could realize that when he entered the demon bow, when he entered secret bow, so he, he had ascended, he had grown higher. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. But I will say after he, he, he came out after prayer and fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he grown, praise the living God. And the Bible says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power. He went around doing good. So after that anointing, the accession, he began to go to another level. After the fasting, after he entered the wilderness, he came out of the wilderness. He grew, praise the living God. Let's look to the let's go to my brother, my anchor scripture today, the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse number 52. Book of Luke, chapter 2, verse number 52. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, please be keen today because what you are going to learn will help you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read the word of God mm. in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 52, mm. New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, mm -hmm. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature mm -hmm. and in favor with God and all the Listen, people. Jesus grew in what? Grew in, grew wisdom. in wisdom. So and wisdom, stature. we need to pray for wisdom every day so that we can grow. Mm. When he grew in? In wisdom, in wisdom and in stature and in, stature, and in favor and in favor with God. So there are three things that he grew. He grew in wisdom, he grew in stature and, and in, in, favor. in favor. Even with God, you need to grow in favor with God. Praise the living God. May you grow in favor with God. May you grow with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. When we talk about stature, stature is heart. He grew in heart. He grew in the spirit. Praise the living God. He grew in height. Jesus grew. Praise the living God. He matured. He grew up. Both body and what? And the spiritual. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So Jesus was a balance. Our Lord Jesus was very balanced. Praise the living God. So when we talk about uh, the ascending, you are talking about what? You have an advantage of others. What others take time to do, you will take very minimal time with it. Praise the living God. That is why some people 
Some people control territories. Some people control cities. Some people control city, controls nations, praise the living God. It depends with their spiritual capacity. It depends with what they have attained in the spirit they have. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise the living God. So when you're talking about uh, domi- when you're talking about uh, ascending, you're talking about what? dominion, a place of dominion. You're talking about the place of authority, praise the living God. So nothing is uh, nothing in God is lack. There is no lack when we talk about the things of the spirit of God. Praise the living God. Some people say that this man is lucky. This man is favored. I want to tell you today, there is nothing like fluke in the, in the kingdom of God. In the growth, there is nothing. If you see some men growing, there is something, there's a supernatural spirit behind them that is sponsoring them. Praise the living God. Any man that is, is growing in any other aspect of the spiritual realm, there is something that is sponsoring them. There's a supernatural power. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible says in the book of uh, uh, First Samuel chapter 2, verse number 26. First Samuel chapter 2, verse number 26. No one has lack in the kingdom of God. If somebody tells you that there is a lie, there is no lack, that so, so and so is lack, there is no lack. If there is a procedure, there is a process that we must go through, praise the living God. That is what we call the spiritual ascension, the spiritual height. Yes. I read the word of God in the book of First Samuel 2, 26. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel grew taller. The boy Samuel grew what? Taller. Taller. Yes. And grew in favor mm. with the Lord and with the people. Mm. So he grew taller. That is height. Mm. And with what? Grew taller. He grew taller. In favor. In favor. With the Lord. In the Lord. And with the people. And with people. So you need to grow higher. Praise the living God. Mm. So when you grow higher, things are attracted to you. Don't look for money. They are real that when you reach, money is looking for you. Money is a God. Praise the living God. And God moves with the realms. Praise the living God. That is why some of us working hard and earning very little because they have not treated the realm of finances. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. What it takes to grow above. What it takes to grow above. When you talk about growing above, as I told you before, this is a place of authority. This is a place of dominance. Jesus grew. When he came, he grew over death. The Bible says he was re- in the third day, he rose up. He grew, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 19. Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 19 to 22. Jesus grew. Jesus grew. He grew in height. So no death could, 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 could suppress him, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. I read the word of God in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. Verse 19, mm. and the word of God says mm. in New Living Translation, mm. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power. I also pray that you do what? Understand, understand the incredible the greatness, incredible greatness of, God's of God's power for us, for us who please. believe in Him. Mm-hmm. This is the mighty power. Yes. Amplified version, mm. and the word of God says, mm. and so that you can know and understand, you can know and understand what is immeasurable, what is immeasurable and unlimited, the power and that, surpasses the greatness. power that leaves people mm. in their session. It is the power that surpasses what, surpass what that is is unmeasurable, unmeasurable, unlimited, unlimited, and surpassing and greatness, surpassing greatness of His power in and for us who believe mm. as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength hallelujah Amen. so jesus had great power that would demonstrated he came out of the grave mm. he surpassed death mm. he rose above death so death cannot bring him down mm. he rose above sickness he rose above poverty Everything he is, he, the Bible said, What he became poor for us to become rich, so he exchanged everything, he rose above them, and that is what the Bible said. He was given the name that is above all other names because his name was exalted, his name ascended high above sickness, above sickness, above uh, cancer, above HIV, above who named them. So Jesus arose, so he ascended that nothing can hold him again. Nothing can hold his name, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Continue, please. I continue. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. That raised Christ from the dead mm. and seated him in the place of He honor. raised him from where? From the dead. So death can no longer hold him. Mm. When death hear him, death lose you. Praise the living mm. God. Hallelujah. Mm. 
Amen. Mm-hmm. And seated him in the and place of honor. In the place of honor. God's right so hand. He was rose. He came from the grave. He rose up. He ascended to the place of honor. He seated down with our heavenly Father on the right hand. The place of authority. I told you that ascending is the place of what? Authority. Mm, yes. Place of honor. Place of honor. And God's so right when hand. you enter the, 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 the height, you begin to experience honor. You begin to dominate. You begin to have authority. Praise the Lord. In the place of honor. In, the place of in honor. God's right hand. In God's right In the hand. heavenly realm. Yes, in the heavenly realm. That is why I was talking about. I said that ascending to what? In the realm of God. To the heaven. So there are realms that we need to move. Praise the Lord. Yes? Amen. Now is far above. Mm. Any ruler or authority mm. or power mm-hmm. or leader yes. or anything else, mm. not only in this world, yes. but also in the world to come. He is too powerful. So a man that has journeyed in the spirit, that has dominion, he, he, he controls, he has authority, he rules as powers, he rules principalities, he rules powers, authority, principalities, rules the living God. So that, that is why I was telling you that for you to start handling some men, you need to think twice. Jesus had or has had authority over all. Over demons, principalities, authorities, authorities, mention, ambition, any kind of thing that is reason. Jesus had power over the praise of the living God. In the name of Jesus. And that is why we say, as we mention the name of Jesus, the name that is above, above all other names. It was exalted above all other names. And when we mention that name, all knees shall bow and tongues shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Praise the living God. He was lifted. His name was lifted. His name ascended. His name grew. Praise the living God. Anyway, and he was given power. Praise the Lord. Authority and dominion. So when you use that name, you, anything should come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Child of God, when we talk about the, 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 the accession, I tell you, you are talking about it, you have advantage. You have height. You are a place of authority. You are controlling. Anytime you see men have a certain spiritual growth, you see men growing faster, there is a supernatural power that are sponsoring them. If you see a man who's just little the other day, young the other day, and right now has grown, there's a supernatural power, and there's a realm they have attained. There are men with good talent down here. There are women with good talent down here. But they are limited because they have disadvantaged. They, are, they lack spiritual height. Praise the living God. But the Lord gives you spiritual height. May you begin to ascend in the mighty name of Jesus. May you begin to ascend in the mighty name of Jesus. If you read verse number 22, he said that word. Verse number 22. Verse 22. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. God has put all things, he has put all things under the authority of Christ. The authority of and Christ. has made him So head. when you grow, you God will put what? Everything. So it is a matter of growing. It's a matter of what? Attaining. Praise the living God. May you grow that God will give you authority. May you grow that God will give you powers to do much more, exceeding abundant and all. Praise the living God in Jesus' name. So there are people with talent. There are people who can preach better than we, better than we do. There are people who ask God. There are people who can sing. There are people who have got talent. There are people who have got gift, gift, but they are so advantageous because there is no gift. There is no heart. They are doing very little. They are frustrated. Lack of spiritual height. Praise the living God. So they are spiritual authority that gives spiritual height. You need spiritual height. Amen. May the Lord give you spiritual height. Amen. May you begin to attain spiritual height Amen. in that ministry, Amen. in that business, Amen. in that area of expertise, in the mighty name of Jesus. So for, for you to ascend, child of God, there are powers that must feed you. You must be filled with power. You see, Jesus attained this power after death. There's a power that came upon him 
the power that super, 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 surpass other powers, praise the living God. Luke chapter 24, verse number 49. And that is why Jesus remained too powerful. Say, Lord God, there are people who are too powerful. If you see them outside here, this, this, they have attained to a certain level. They have grew to a certain level, praise the living God. Amen. Yes. I read the word of God in the book of Luke 24, 49. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. new translation. Mm -hmm. And now I will send the Holy Spirit. Yes. Just as my father promised. Yes. But stay here in he the says, secret. Stay here in the secret. So there's a place you stay. Mm. You must be waiting. Stay in the place so that the Holy Spirit should, what? should fill you with that power. Amen. Yes. But stay here, stay here in the city, in the city until the Holy Spirit until comes the Holy Spirit and comes. fills you. It is time to stay. Remember, we were talking about wait until someone comes so, so that you can be, be filled with power, be filled with authority, be filled with dominion. Praise the living God. Stay here until the Holy Spirit what? comes uh -huh. and fills you with power. And fills you with power. From heaven. From heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus had no power until he was anointed. The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the power. Amen. And he went down ground doing what? Doing good, doing good things. Praise the living God. Yes, we version. Yes, we version. And the word of God says, yes. and behold, behold, I am sending the promise of my father. Sending what? The promise, the promise of my father, my father upon, you. upon you. But stay. But stay. In this so the promise will come. And so we are talking about patience. The promise will come. But stay. In this city, in until you are clothed, stay until you are clothed with the power. So there is a power that you are going to be clothed from the power, the power that came upon Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus. The Lord said, "Think that I did. You will do much more than I did." Praise the living God. But why are we not doing them? Because we are not ready to stay. Even Jesus stayed. He was in the wilderness for forty days and forty nights. Stay, so that the power that come from above will come upon you. May that anointing rest upon you. The fresh oil in this land, may that fresh anointing come upon you. Amen. The fresh oil that have been released, yes. the prophetic oil of God, the fresh oil come upon you. In the name of Jesus, in your place of staying, may that fresh oil come upon you. In that area of expertise, in that business, the fresh oil is coming upon you to do wonders, supernatural things in your education, in the name of Jesus, in IT sectors, political sectors, the anointing is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus, you shall begin to perform many wonders. You shall begin to perform miracles. Things will begin to move because you have entered anointing of the session in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus had powers that not even death would stop him. Nothing would stop him because of the, the realm he had reached. When sickness see him, give way. When death see him, give way. When blindness see him, give way. And why are these things in us? Because we are too young, we are babies with the spirit. Spirit has understand the language of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Spirit understand the language of the spirit. The spirit. So if you are speaking the language of the flesh, you are not agreeing. And that is why you keep on remaining in sickness. So today we are going to speak the, the language of the Spirit. We shall enter into the realm of the Spirit that that thing that refused to go will go. Because we are ascending today. We are moving to the spiritual height. We are having dominion over every spirit. Powers and principalities in the name of Jesus. Praise the living God. Nothing can stop the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible said that in the book of John chapter 14, verse number 12 and 14, he said that, those things that I do, you do much more, much more than I do. So why are we not doing them? Praise the living God. Just take me to the book of Acts, chapter 2. Chapter 2, verse number 24 to 25. In the name of Jesus, there are things that need to be afraid of you. When they see you, because of the realm that you have walked on, the journey that you have made in the spirit, they begin to be afraid. But now, we are still where we are. We are babes in the spirit. We carry very big titles, but we have nothing to show. We are carrying very big titles, but we have nothing to show. But the, 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 the higher spiritual things are being seen. Yes? 
I read the word of God in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 24. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. but God revealed him. God revealed him. Yes. So we told you that it is a season of revelation. There are men that God is working upon. He's about to reveal. Men that will do wonders. Men that will do signs and wonders in their areas of expertise, in the ministry, apostolic, prophetic, evangelist, leaders, Whenever God is about to reveal them, what's the living place? May God reveal you. May you not miss to be revealed where God is going to reveal men in the name of Jesus. May you not miss to be revealed in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God released him he released from him. the horrors of death yes. and raised him back to He released him from where? Horrors of, of death. And raised him back and to life. raised him back to life. Death they are not people that are being raising now. From that sickness, Amen. from that pit of hell, you are raising now. As you're watching, looking at me right now, as I touch this camera, in the name of Jesus, you are rising from that situation. In the name of Jesus, you are rising now. I speak to the Spirit. When you are dead, you shall arise. As Jesus rose, you are rising now. Where you've been down financially, you are rising now. Spiritually, you are rising now. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are rising. In that marriage, you are rising. Financially, you are rising. Spiritually, you are rising. Physically, you are rising. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Someone is rising. You shall rise and walk. Where you believe because of spiritual dwarfism, you shall rise and walk in the name of Jesus. Some of us, we are too dwarf that we never walk. Some of us, we are too lean, even financially. So what you need, we lack spiritual height. We have somebody that is low. The luggage to carry, even how to stand is a problem. Give a lame person that is down, tell him to carry this thing and stand you. He cannot stand. But a man that is standing, give him something, a container to carry, he will rise with that thing and put it on top of the head. He said, because he likes the things. Yes, continue. But death could not grip him. Death could not grip him. No death will hold you. No poverty will hold you. In the name of Jesus, you are the reason. King, King. Jesus is the reason, King. As he rose, that death could not hold him. No death will hold you. This year, 2024, no death will hold you. Not even poverty will hold you. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever old men will not hold you. They are releasing you now. In the name of Jesus, that with that time, men will release you by the power and the name of Jesus. And that is why they sing the song. Sing it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have done it for me. Oh, me. He has done it for me and you. Death could not, Death could not hold you down. Mm. He's the reason, King. Praise the living God. So you shall arise. Nothing will hold you. Whatever hold men in your generation is losing you now. In the name of Jesus, that sickness is releasing you now. That polygamy is releasing you now. Whatever is holding men not to arise will not hold you. I say will not hold you. In the name of Jesus, I have come to prophesy and to decree and to declare you are being released. You are being released from the grave of death. You are being released in the name of Jesus. You are being set free. You are being released right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, child of God, God is setting you free. God is releasing you. As Jesus came out of the grave, he challenged death. He challenged poverty. He took the key from the gate of Hades. He's taking back to you. You shall receive restoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yes? Chapter 2. Apostle chapter 2, verse 24. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. Amplified version. Amplified version. But God raised him up. But God raised him up. Liberating him. He was raised up. Liberating Liberated him from the pangs of death. The pang of death. Seeing that it is so, not possible. And that is why it's not possible for Jesus for to him die. To continue to be controlled or retained by him. He cannot be continued. 
from the control. control. So the main last work in the journey of God, it is not easy to be controlled by other powers and the principalities and authorities. Praise the living God. So you need to journey in the spirit. You need to grow in the spirit. No wonder Prophet Samuel, the Bible say, any word Prophet Samuel spoke what? None of his words what? fell on the ground. For he became law. He became a priest in the spirit. Praise the living God. Yes. Continue. Yes. King David said this mm. about him. Mm. I see that the Lord is always with me. Yes. I will not be shaken. That is why. Right. David right. knew that secret. Me. He knew that he has done in the spirit. I cannot be shaken. Don't be shaken, child of God. David grew in the spirit. He was a, a journey in the spirit. He was there in the wilderness. He journeyed and God was with him. He said that one. That is why I know. Mm. I see the Lord. I see the He's Lord. always with me. He's always. I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. For He's right beside for me. He's right beside me. I have been lifted with Him. But in the book of Daniel, the Bible says, "What? Those who are in Christ Jesus, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit." Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. They shall do exploit. Praise the living God. Shall of God. They shall do exploit. So there are those who knows their Lord, their God. Those who knows their God, they are strong. And they shall do exploit, praise the living God. So that David, that David, so David, David knew his what? His God. He had journey with his God in the spirit. And that is what, what took Saul to deal with for a while. He took short time to bring Goliath down, praise the living God. Because he had already, uh, he had already ascended in the spirit. He had the spiritual muscles. He looked at him, he said that this one, this one that come to me in the flesh, that I've been dealing with the spiritual things, praise the living God. And that is how he brought Goliath down, praise the living God. Child of God, there are things that you cannot fight until you attain a certain level. Going to school is good. There are things you cannot do with the knowledge you have attained from school. The knowledge that you have acquired from school, no matter which level. And unless you enter the school of the spirit. Unless you enter the school of the spirit. For those who went to the school of the spirit, let me tell you, nothing can, 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 can distract, can shake them. When they look at this, they say, I cannot. They will say, it. I, when I was in the wilderness, I hold the bear with my bare hand and I tear the mouth. The lion, what is, if that is the, the, the lion, the greatest in the jungle, praise the living God. What is praise the living God? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse number 38. Romans chapter 8, verse number 38. Romans 8, 38. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says mm -hmm. in the book of New Living Translation, mm -hmm. and I am convinced, I am convinced that nothing can ever nothing separate us can ever separate from God's love. Because I am journey in the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. I am in the school of God. Nothing can separate me with my God. I know my God, so I can, I am strong. I can do exploit as my father did, so I can do it too. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing, Nothing can separate, can separate, us, separate from us from God. Neither death, neither death, no life. So don't be afraid of death. If they are telling you about life, tell them I will not die. I will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. How can I die if my if my our Lord Jesus Christ that I focus in, I focus upon, He not die. He did not die. He, he, he grew above them. I cannot die, child of God. I will not die. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Neither death nor life, life, no, neither angels neither nor angels demons, demons, neither our fear of today. to separate you from God. Tomorrow you are serving God and tomorrow you want to backslide. Tomorrow you are blaming God. Is God there? No. Journey in the spirit. Enter into the school of the spirit and you'll be able, to, you'll be sustained, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Nothing, neither our fear neither for today, today. nor our worries about tomorrow. Yes. Not even the powers of hell yes. can separate us from Not God's even love. the worry, worry of what tomorrow. May the Lord deliver you mm. from the worries of Not tomorrow. Not our fears for Not today. Not even the fears no, of our today. worries about tomorrow. May the Lord tomorrow. deliver you from fear. He said, be strong. Do not be afraid because I, the Lord, I will not forsake you or not want to abandon you. Praise the living God. God has promised you, and His promises are yes and amen. What you do, move. 
as you have journeyed in the spirit, do not be afraid. They look at things and say, ho, ho, you are for now. But as Jesus overcame, I will overcome. Praise the living God. They are an overcomer. Praise the living God. Say, I am an overcomer. I will overcome. As Jesus overcame, I will overcome. As he overcame poverty, I will overcome. As he overcame uh, immorality, I will overcome. In the name of Jesus, something you are overcoming now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. No worry. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. And that is what the Bible says what? In the book of Isaiah 40, verse number 31, the Bible says that uh, those who wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength, and they shall amount with wings like eagles, so they shall rise, they shall ascend. So there's a, a, a place of a session you must wait. And God will renew your strength. You not get weary as others are getting weary. Where others cannot reach, you can reach. What others can do, you can do. The challenges that are facing others are bringing men down. There are men you see, there are men you see outside there. They are doing miracles, wonders, signs and wonders. These men have stayed. Amen. I read the word of God in the book of Isaiah 40, mm. verse 31, mm. amplified version. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. but those who wait for the Lord. Those who wait for the Lord. Who expect. Who expect. Look for. Look for. And hope in him. Mm -hmm. Shall change mm -hmm. and shall renew their strength they and power. They shall renew their strength and power. They shall lift their so wings. So in the place, in the secret place is where God is doing what? Renewing strength. That is where the Holy Spirit come and what? Empower you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. They shall lift their wings. They shall lift their wings. Mount up. Mount up. Close to God. Close to God. As eagles mount up to the sun. So south. when we talk about the realms on ascension, this is coming close to God. Amen. This is where God starts giving men names. These are not nicknames. There are others that God has given names. They are not nicknames. Praise the living God. They are coming. They are mounting with wings. They are coming close to God. Mm. Praise the living God. As they eagles, are another year. Yes, as eagles. As eagles mount up to the sun. Eagles go above where other birds cannot reach. Mm. He faces the storm. You will face the storm. Amen. To renew your strength. Amen. You are getting weaker. You are granted to go back. May the Lord renew your strength uh, that you may begin to rise. You shall rise. I say you shall rise. You will begin to mount with wings like eagles. May you begin to mount with wings like eagles. Where you are getting, where you are giving up, you are rising now. You shall rise. I say you shall rise. I say you shall rise. I say you shall rise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. They shall run. They shall and run. not be where. And not be where. They shall walk. So strength, you'll gain strength from God. You'll gain strength no matter how long you walk. Amen. Because you are in that realm. You are not a walk. normal human being. They shall walk mm. and, not faint and not faint or become tired. Mm -hmm. When you rise to a certain level, higher dimension, you rise to a session of, you, you, you ascend to the realm of God. Coming close to Him. You mount with wings. You will be flying. You will be ascending. It is a place of rest, child of God. It is a place of authority. It's a place of dominion. It's a place of ruling. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. You must journey this. Even demons know those who journey this. Day. They know. They know this one. That is why most of us go for some deliverance and become casualties. Because you are going to meet the masters in the spirit. And yet you are a babe in the spirit. You become a casualty. Not every deliverance you do. You must journey in the spirit first before you start fighting other journeys. Praise the living God. Other spirits. Mark chapter 5, verse number 7, 7 to 10. Mark 5, mm. verse 7, mm. King James Version. Mm. For we walk by faith, mm. not by sight. Mm. Mark chapter 5, verse number 7. You know, the demons saw our Lord Jesus Christ. By seeing him alone, they screamed. And he said, The Son of the Most High God, do not torment me. What do you have to do with me? He did not talk. 
because he saw the one that was coming was another one that one is not a normal human being the one that is coming carry the supernatural power the one that is coming is a man that dominates the one that is coming is a man of authority praise the living god i cannot stay here well, defeat others. This man, nobody has ever set, set him free. But when Jesus came, he did not even say anything. This man started speaking. The demons started speaking. Even demons are aware. Amen. Mm. Mark chapter 5, verse 7. Mm. I did the word of God. Mm. And crying out with a loud voice. Yes. What have you do? What have you to do with me? What have you to do with me? Jesus. Jesus. Son of the Most High God. Yes. Why are you interfering with my business? Uh, in the name of God. In the name I of God. Beg you, I beg don't touch him. Even him is begging in the name of who? God. Don't torture me. Hallelujah. May the power enter you. That we torture demons. Even before you speak. May that grace that was upon our Lord Jesus Christ enter you. And may they be, begin to be tortured. Before you speak, they'll begin to be tortured. Receive that power. Receive that grace. May that grace enter you today. Before you speak, demons will begin to, 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 to jump out. They'll be bowed out of you. They'll bow out in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes. Salam, Salam, David. What do you have to do with me? Amplified by Yes. And crying out with a loud voice, mm. he said, mm. What have you to do with me? Demons know there's capacity that you can. Yes. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Son of the Most High God. Yes. What is there in common between us? What is there in common between us? Do not do, do not torment me. Oh. Mm. Uh, I solemnly implore you mm. by God. My do not begin to I torment you me. In the name of God. Let me tell you, even demons that not want issues with God. But you, they want you to have issues with God. Praise the Lord. Yes. Mm. I beg you. I beg you. Do not begin to torment me. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. They are, they are masters in the spirit realm. They are demons and they are masters. So be careful. For Jesus had already said to the spirit, mm. come out of the man, he said, you come out. evil spirit. You evil spirit. Amen. Yes. Then Jesus demanded, mm. what is your name? What is your name? And he replied, yes. my name is Legion. The man of because there story. are many of us inside this man. Yes. Translation. yes. Then the evil spirit begged him again mm. and again not to send them to some distant place. Mm. Amen. He begged them again. Please don't send us there. So you are power. Today we are going to, to send spirit out of you. Send them to endless speed. In the name of Jesus, as I watch, the, as I look at this camera, I point at this camera direct. Any spirit that is upon you, that has refused to go by the authority, the power that has bestowed upon me. In the name of Jesus, as the servant of God, I decree and I declare any demon that has refused to come out of you, madness, demon of poverty, demon of immorality, whichever kind of demon, that demon of sickness, endless sickness, the hereditary sickness, I command it now, be transferred now to endless pit in the name of Jesus. We command you, any demon that came from your father's house, any transferred spirit, today we hereby direct them in the mighty name of Jesus. I hereby divert them. Let them come out of you in the name of Jesus. As I count of one, as I count of two, as I count of three, in the name of Jesus, let them leave that body and go. You are free and free indeed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, even demons know. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we have gone to, we have gone to, in the spirit, you have gone to do deliverance, but instead you meet the spirit, you become casual. Because you are a babe in the spirit and you are talk, you are meeting masters in the spirit. The sons of Sceva, seven of them, they were the sons of, of the priest. Let me tell you, being a son of a, a general does not mean that you are also a general. Being that you have walked in the general does not mean that what? You are also a general, praise the living God. Hallelujah. It does not mean that you are also a general. You must journey in the spirit. You must attain something. You must ascend to the height of being a general, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Some of people say that I've walked with that man, so I have no. Of Apostle chapter 19, verse number 14 to 16. Acts of Apostle 19. New Living Translation. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. 
seven sons of Skeva, mm -hmm. a leading priest, were doing this. Mm -hmm. But one time when they tried it, when they tried, they, they, they used to do it. Blight. They used to meet small, small demons. Mm -hmm. But one day. They when didn't they tried know. This, they tried this. The there evil was spirit replied. The spirit. The evil spirit. I know Jesus. Not any other. I know Jesus. I know Paul. I know Paul. But who are you? We meet with them in the realm of the spirit. But who are you? Mm. Then the man with the evil spirit leaped on and them. And that is why be careful when demons are, 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 are laughing. They laugh. Ha ha. You think they are laughing. They have already known there is nothing here. Overpowered them Over, and overpowered attacked them, them and with attacked. such violence Hallelujah. that they fled from the house naked and battered. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. That is why in the marketplace, don't just go and sack good business, settle business there until you know who is operating, until you know who is dominating you. Which realm are they? Who, at which level are they ascended? And that is where we start business in the marketplace and we never grow. That is where you enter in other organizations. You not go far because there are people that have ascended to another level. You look at their belt. You look at the watch in their, their hands. You look at their... There's something they tie is a snake. When they greet you with it, that is the end of it. You came powerful, but nothing happened. Praise the living God. Things have changed upside down. Praise the living God. Amen. Praise the living God. We need to attain the Lord. We need to attain this beauty. Who shall attain this art? Not everyone. You know, now people say, no, now, man of God, I also want to attain. Who shall attain? So there are people that are supposed to, to attain the spiritual heart. Let's go to the book of Psalms 24, verse number 3 and 4. Psalms 24. Psalms 24. Who shall stay in the heart? I read the word of God in the book of Psalms 24, mm. verse 3. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? New Living Translation. Yes. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his so holy place? This is a mountain. Mm. Let me tell you, not everybody can control a mountain. King James Version. Not everybody should have a, a mountain. You know, most of us, we say, I am on the mountain, I am on the mountain. Not everybody has a mountain. They are qualification, they are credential of those who should not climb on top of the mountain. Those who should ascend. Yes, King James Version. Who shall ascend, who shall ascend into the hills, into of, the the hills Lord, of the Lord? And who shall stand, who shall stand? in his holy So you can place. also climb and not to stand in this holy place. Mm -hmm. Moses was able to stand and that is how he came back with what? With the, with the, the, the commandments, ten Amen. commandments. President. Only those, only those whose hands and whose hearts, hearts and heart. are pure. Your heart is clean. Mm. No other evil act on you. Mm. Praise the living God. Who do not worship Who idol, not worship and, idol, idol and, never tell lies. and never tell lies. They will Praise receive the, the Lord's blessing. But after you ascend, there's a Lord's blessing. So number one, who should ascend? He that his hand is clean. Heart, heart and hands heart. are pure. Your heart is pure. You do not have a divided mind. You have a willing mind and undivided. Undivided mind and a willing heart. Is the God. Your heart is perfect. You know you can be. You can. You can. You can do things that pleases God. Let's go to the book of Second uh, 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 Chronicles, chapter twenty-five, verse number one. I think verse number two. Mazir did what pleases God, but his heart was not perfect. So your heart can, you can do what pleases God, but your heart is not perfect. Second Chronicles chapter 25, verse number one, number two. Second Chronicles 25, mm. verse two, mm. and the word of God says, Amaziah what did what he it pleased with what the Lord. Pleased the Lord in the Lord's side. In the Lord's side, but not all at it. Not all at it. The other one talks about his heart is not perfect. So those who are supposed to climb on the mountain, what? Their heart should be pure. Amplified version. Be, yes. And the word of God says, mm. he did right. He did right. In the Lord's sight. Some of us, you can preach. Mm. You can deliver people. People coming back to the kingdom of God. You can do what pleases the Lord, but your heart is not right. 
So you cannot climb the mountain. Mm. But not with a perfect heart. Not with a perfect heart. Or blameless or heart. Blameless heart. Mm. Praise the living God. Those who do not tell lies. Deceitful people. Those who do not worship idol. Praise the living God. There are six things that God hates. For those who want to climb the, 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 the mountain. Proverbs chapter 6, verse number 16 and 19. 16 to 19. There are things that God hates, child of God. This is what the enemy is using to pull us, to, to press us down. Praise the Lord. Amen. Malik. Proverbs 6, yes. 16, mm. New Living Translation. Mm. The Word of God says, the word of God says there, are six there are six things that the Lord hates. The Lord hates. No. no. Seven things. Seven he things. Detests. He detests them. Booty mm -hmm. mm. eyes, eyes, a lying tongue, a lying tongue. hands that kill and the that innocent, kill yes. a mm. heart that plots evil, mm -hmm. feet that race to do wrong, yes. a false witness who pours out lies, Hallelujah. a person who sows discord in a family. Mm. Amen. Scatter family. Mm. This one are disqualified. So we need to pray for us. That may the Lord deliver us. For us to climb this mountain. For us to ascend this mountain, that we have clear, clear, pure heart. Praise the living God. Deceitfulness will come to us. The Bible says the heart of man is deceitful above all. Who can? Praise the living God. There are spirits that press people down as I wind up now. Because there's a blessing after you have climbed the mountain. Zachariah chapter 1 verse 19, as I finish now, she covered her. We want to deal with the spirit. You have learned what will hinder us to climb the mountain so that we can climb. We want to cry for mercy. Let me tell you, some of us will wonder, why is he praying for mercy? Mercy is a universal prayer. Zachariah chapter 1 verse number 19. Verse 19. Yes. I read the word of God. Mm. And the word of God says, what are these? What are these? I asked the angel mm. who was talking with me. Mm. He replied, mm. These horns represent the nations that scatter these Judah. These horns represent the nation that what? That scatter Judah, yes. Israel, yes. and Jerusalem. They are horns pressing men down here. That is why we have so many gifted and talented women of God. But nothing is coming. Businessmen. They are great men that cannot be heard. They are homes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I continue. Mm. 20. Yes. Then the Lord showed me four blacksmiths. Just leave it there. Because after you climb to the mountain, there are blessings. I want us to pray to me. I tell him, Lord, I am an overcome. As you overcame death, I will overcome today. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to decree and to declare to yourself, Professor. The Bible said in the book of Acts of the Protest, Apostle chapter 2, verse 24. He said, He of a king, even death could not hold him. Even death could not hold him. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I today, my Father, I am ascending, I am rising. By your mercy, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, I shall ascend, I shall rise in the mighty name of Jesus. The power that made Jesus, that resurrected Jesus from death, if that power is in me, my Father and my God, I shall arise. Whatever kill men, whatever kill gift of men in my generation, in my family, in my generation, in my father's side, in this nation, in this territory, in this city, in the nations. Lord, today I shall arise in the name of Jesus. That that is holding men, that, that is holding women, Shakakaba, shall not hold me. I will not be held down. I am breaking forth. I am arising. I shall ascend because the supernatural power is coming upon me. The Holy Spirit is fulfilling me, is refilling me with power. In the name of Jesus, I have been anointed with a fresh anointing, a prophetic oil, a new prophetic oil. In the name of Jesus, I am receiving grace, a fresh grace. In the name of Jesus, in that business, you are receiving fresh grace. In the name of Jesus, child of God, there is grace that is coming upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, just put your hand upon your head and decree and declare. Release the grace that right now, that weak that is holding women, that 
something that is holding me, I shall rise. I shall rise. The Lord hold me. If the spirit that is erected upon Jesus Christ, and upon Jesus upon me, I shall rise. I shall rise. I shall begin to do wonders in the name of Jesus in my father's house. I shall rise. What is holding people? I am breaking forth in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever Lord that has called the prophet in this territory, in this city, in this nation will not hold me, will not hold me. Jesus overcame death. He overcame death. I am entering, I am rising to the place of honor. I shall arise to the place of authority. I shall arise that I will rule. He kapata zinakosa pahandema. The Bible says he was lifted up above all. He came out. He came out of the grave. The grave could not hold him. He came out. Death could not hold him. He came out. He was lifted to the place of honor, to the place of authority. He came over. He sat power over the authority over the principalities. In the name of Jesus. Somebody decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This month I am coming out. I shall ascend to the higher. I shall ascend in the name of Jesus in this area. He covered her. He financially, I shall ascend. We have been down. I will ascend in the name of Jesus. We are dead. I was marked with death. I shall ascend because the power that will not hold the power that power of death will not hold me. The Bible says in my tongue there is power. I have power. Power of death and tongue. The power of death and life is in my tongue. In the name of Jesus, as I speak today, death shall give way. Death shall give way. Death shall give way. Death shall give way. In the mighty name of Jesus, death shall give way. Child of God, begin to speak. Poverty shall give way. In the name of Jesus, no more shall there be barrenness. In my father's house, they shall give way. In the name of Jesus, no more shall I be limited. In the name of Jesus, I shall ascend now. I shall enter to the next realm. I shall enter to the another realm. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody speak right now. Somebody begin to speak. Somebody begin to speak. Somebody begin to declare. Somebody begin to declare. In to pradi talaga, zin to lagada, my father, my God. I shall mount with wings like eagles. In the name of Jesus, my father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, where my father, I was getting weaker. Renew my strength. Renew my strength. May the Lord renew your strength. May the Lord renew your strength. May the Lord renew your strength. Where you are getting weaker, you shall arise. You shall arise. You shall arise in that business. You shall arise in that ministry. You shall arise. In the name of Jesus, you are arising. You are rising. Child of God, you are rising. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall not be distracted. Nothing shall hold you down. Not even worries. Not even fear. You are an overcomer. I say you are an overcomer. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Prophesy. Pick up on your life. Sickness. You have no authority. You hold me down. No matter which kind of sickness. In the name of Jesus, I speak right now. I call upon you. Lay your hands upon your head and speak up so that every power, every grace, that grace, the power that was upon our Lord Jesus Christ, the power that anointed the demons, let that power come upon me. That grace come upon me now. Come upon me now. Any demon, any demon, whichever power where it came from, the demon of madness, the demon of madness, demons of delays, whichever kind of demon that was assigned concerning your life, concerning your destiny. Today, child of God, begin to prophesy. Lay the hands upon you. Lay the hands upon those children. In the name of Jesus, the demon of epilepsy, to Parnaga, the non delay, the demon of sickness, he cut up. Today, they are leaving you now. They are raising you now. In the name of Jesus, some of us have been bleeding for too much. That demon that was assigned by his eating blood and drinking blood by the power. In the name of Jesus, you shall release the children of God. You are setting them free. You are setting them free as I stand upon the authority like a boxer in Tobata. As I turn in this mountain, as I turn in this mountain, I call upon the daughter, upon this mountain, the mighty God, the miracle worker. Move now by your power. Touch the people of God. Ikalabo, Zintabaga, Zelebagada, Zantura Bagada, Ikadata, Son Parikada. In the name of Jesus, I command now. I lose every demon. I command them now. Lose your own. Lose your own. They are setting the children of God free. 
in the name of Jesus. They've been diverted. They've been diverted. Those demons, they've been diverted. Wherever you came from, been diverted. Go back to Senda. We divert you now. Be back like an arrow. Go back like an arrow. In the name of Jesus, go back to that altar. It won't have a call. It won't have a call. We send you now. Any arrow of death that was sent to my family, that was sent to my children, right now, by the power, in the name of Jesus, scatter by fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. I hear I divert them. We divert them now. Go back now. We send you back like an arrow. We send you back like an arrow. You dead man that was sent. Go back now. Create more havoc in that matter. Create more havoc. Destroy them with the snakes. They are dead. Red Gada. Zepara Gada. Somebody pray. Somebody decree. Pray today. They are going back. Altars are breaking. Altars are breaking. Altars are breaking. Altars are breaking. As I move, as I stand upon the authority, I read about that. Upon the anointing that is upon my head. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you worship. We give you glory. Let every demon bow. As I mention the name of Jesus, let them bow out. Let them bow out. Let the sickness bow out. The Bible says he exalted that name above all names. He ascended that name. He lifted him. He exalted that name. Right now, as I count of one to seven, yes. one to seven, you have no authority there yes. because Jesus has ascended. Amen. I have ascended. Rakabada. Zela Gabada. Today you have ascended. Ripaligada. Imparagada. Some of you are going to lay hands on your children. The Bible says, I shall lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall get free. They shall take deadly poison, and they shall not be harmed. Right now, as I count of one to seven, right now, one, Parikada, bow out in the name of Jesus. As I count of two, bow out in the name of Jesus. That arrow that was sent, they deflected back in the name of Jesus. Yes, Shabaka, Zelibada, in the name of Jesus. That thing that is tied men, women in your generation, right now, as Jesus came out of the grave, you are coming out, you are coming out, you are coming out. Yes, I feel the Spirit of God now. Saligada, Spirit of the Living God, take over. Spirit of the Living God, take over. Deliver the people of God. Deliver them right now. They have been tied, not to the They are people with giftings. I found them. Release them now from every tidings. Release them now from every tidings. Let them begin to arise. Let them begin to rise. Let them begin to rise. Rise now. You shall arise. You are going back. Principalities, the authorities, in the mighty name of Jesus, she lavagata, zilegelegele, zagadagada. Any demon that are oppressing people yes. with the horns, we disown them now. Yes. We disown them now. We call upon the spiritual rules, iron rules of God. We disown them now. We disown them now. We disown them now. We disown them now. The masses of God, where your hands not clean, the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord wash you. May the Lord cleanse you. May the Lord purify you. In the name of Jesus, where your heart is not pure, may the Lord create him. Create a new clean heart upon you. Renew the right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy, may your Holy Spirit not depart away from me. May the Holy Spirit of God not depart away from me. In the name of Jesus, my Father, where we have worshipped other gods and my Father, there is a curse upon my family. Today I plead for mercy. Mercy, Lord. The Bible says, I am the Lord God who delivered you from the from, from the slavery, from Egypt. He said, I do not I, I, I tolerate no rival. Lord Jesus, where my father, we worship other gods without knowing. I have been, been worshiping idols without knowing, knowingly or unknowingly. Have mercy. I plead for 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 mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, mercy upon my children, mercy upon my destiny, mercy upon my spouse, mercy upon my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Verse number 20, Psalms 24, verse number 25. God said, The blessing, let the blessing come upon you. May you be blessed. I say, may you be blessed. Because after session, you are ascending. You see that place? Wow. You lift it. You lift it. Take it now. Spirit of the living God. Anoint them. And as they've been waiting upon you, anoint them. 
then they begin to sow with wings like eagles. They begin to rita le gadaba elagada. As I stretch my hands, let the power come upon you. Begin to sow with wings like eagles. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Take it now. 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 You're being loose out of that grave. You're being loose out of that grave. You are being loose out of that grave. Your children are being loose out of that grave. Your family are being loose. They must be tying you. Loose now. Loose my fire. That grave, that storm that was coming upon you, that sound that was said, be diverted back now. Be diverted back now. In the name of Jesus, let it hold the owner. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you peace. Father, we give you hope and all the glory and all the adoration. Lord, help me wash my hands. May be worthy before you. May be worthy to be lifted, to ascend in the name of Jesus. Lord, may I be worthy. Help me, Lord, to worship only you, not any other God. In the name of Jesus, purify my heart because you are my people. Wash me, Jesus. Stay with me, Jesus. Don't be only a visitor that only visiting me today and leaving me. Stay with me, Jesus. Walk with me. Show me, Lord, show me the right way, the right path to follow that will take me to a session in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. We pray. Amen. Father, we thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. We give him all the glory. We give him all the praise. Child of God, if not born again, this will be just make like a dream. I want you to pray after me. Because the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians 4, verse number 4, 3 and 4, he said that it is the, the, the gods of this world that has covered our mind, blinded us. Where the enemies blinded you, that you do not believe the word. Say, my Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, where the enemy has blinded my eyes, that I cannot believe your word. I cannot believe you, Lord have mercy. Forgive me, my God. Open my eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Where I'm behind the veil, I cannot see. Today, my eyes is opening. In the name of Jesus, where I've been, I've, I'm behind the veils, I'm living in darkness. Today, light is appearing. You said you're the light of the world, that whosoever follows you shall never see darkness. I desire to follow you. Set me free. As Jesus overcame death, may I overcome, Lord. Set me free in the name of Jesus. From today, my Father, my God, I am coming out from the kingdom of darkness, but I'm entering the kingdom of God. I shall begin to see light in the name of Jesus. Light, I call upon light, light to brighten my life where darkness had covered me, had engulfed my life. Today, I shall begin to see light in the name of Jesus. And from now, my Father, my God, I am born again. Erase every trace of wickedness, afflictions, all upon my life. In the name of Jesus, iniquities, erase their trace. There shall be no trace of anger, bitterness, offense, and forgiveness upon my life. In the name of Jesus, I am a new creation. My old has come. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am no longer the one I used to be. Today, I am like Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I am born again. I get my life right in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. After praying that prayer, please send the text to the lines that are there. That we have a life that we need to go to in Jesus' name. We thank God so much for the word that has come for today. We thank God because it is another season, another time that the Lord is teaching us on how to ascend. And according to his word in the book of Psalms 24 verse 3, the Lord is asking who is it that shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord. And as the Lord, as the word of God tells us, that is, it is him whose heart and hands are pure. May the Lord help us that we may ascend to greater heights, that you may grow into greater heights in the mighty name of Jesus. It is time for us to ascend 
grow in height, in stature, as our Lord Jesus did. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you so much for being part of the growth, being part of them that are helping us to take this word to the ends of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, we appreciate your presence. We appreciate your comments. We appreciate even the, the, the encouragement that you send to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you so, so much, even for the testimonies that you are getting to hear of what the Lord is doing upon your lives. It encourages us and gives us the, the, the motivation to move on because we know that the Lord is doing things upon your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so, so much for the text that we are receiving, the callings that the Lord is doing things. And I know that as we have been taught about the heights and ascending, you are going to ascend in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to encourage even them that are watching today, as the Lord is doing for others, be assured that he's going to do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As others are testifying, you are next online in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so, so much. I also want to welcome you on our weekly programs by the grace of God, beginning from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Tuesday, by the grace of God, we call it PUSH, praying until something happens. We pray. May you join us on that day and we shall pray together, pushing in spirit, putting heavens under pressure because the Lord said, told us in the beginning of this year that he's returning and is returning with the sun. We are going to push heavens under pressure until we receive our son in the mighty name of Jesus. Join us at 5 to 6 a.m. Tuesday to Friday, East African time. On Friday, by the grace of God, we call it morning of conquering. We conquer in the spirit. And as Jesus conquered and overcame death, and he ascended to heaven, and he shall descend, we are going to ascend on that Friday. By the grace of God, every Friday we conquer and ascend in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. On the same day, by the grace of God, Friday at 10 p.m. East African time, we have a night, it is called a night of release, just an hour in the presence of God. I encourage you to join us that time. It is a recap of all that you have learned in the entire week. Please join us, don't miss. It is in the YouTube channel by the servant of God, Pastor Stephen Ouko. As this Friday, we are going to learn about ascending. Do not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. YouTube. On, on every Tuesday to Friday in the morning, 5 to 6 a.m., it is Facebook Live. On Friday at 10 p.m., it is the YouTube channel. When you join us, you shall also find other many, many, many more sermons that the Lord is taking us and ascending us into heights in his word by his servant, Pastor Stephen Oko, in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to take this opportunity to appreciate you so much for your support towards this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for allowing God to use you to support us, to support your servant, to support us, to ensure that all things are running by the grace of God. I also want to encourage them that have not begun and you are watching us. Please be encouraged. Our numbers are on the screen. We have the pay bill line. We have the pay bill number. We have the account number. We also have the direct number which is 0725 951707. You can use either of them. And I know that the Lord that blesses shall surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is my prayer that as we are learning about ascension, may you ascend financially to greater heights in the mighty name of Jesus. And that which could not even limit our Jesus in the grave shall not limit your finances in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. You are going to ascend financially. Amen. You are going to ascend from grace to grace Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to take this opportunity also to encourage you. If you have any prayer for, for prayer and counseling, you can use the number 0725 951 707. I repeat the number. You can use 0725 951 707 or you can use the number 0703-115242. Please feel free to like, feel free, feel free to, to, to text us, feel free to, to, to call. And I know that as we push in the spirit, we shall ascend to the place of blessing, the place of answers of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. 
May the Lord bless you abundantly. May the Lord increase you in every height and status in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God and we thank God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. This week, Amen. this night, mm. you shall ascend to the higher height. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever hold people down yes. will not hold you down. Amen. This month we will ascend. Amen. I decree and I declare mm. as Jesus overcame death, yes. he overcame poverty, mm. he overcame slavery, mm. he overcame bondages, yes. you shall come out of that state Amen. and begin to grow Amen. to the greater height. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree height, financial height, spiritual height, and physical height in the name of Jesus. Mm. As he grew in stretcher, you will grow in stretcher. You will grow in wisdom. You will grow in the name of Jesus. Today you are growing in favor with men and God in the mighty name of Jesus. May that be your portion in Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. May Amen. the Lord bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, when you join us in the YouTube, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I know that the good Lord shall bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you abundantly. And may you ascend to greater heights. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you.